Hey everybody, uh, this is my reef tank overview and I'm just going to show you guys around some of the corals that I have. This is a 65 gallon bow front tank. I have had it running for about four months now. The first month was just mostly cycling. So let's just get into it. So at first let's start down here. This one down here is my green star polyp. Um, you know everybody says that it's a uh, invasive coral basically and a beginner's coral and everything and it takes over the whole tank but I haven't really noticed that I've just noticed it um, not doing much besides slowly spreading and I feel like if you just isolate it it'll probably just stay there and be fine but <clears throat> you guys let me know if you think differently and then right here is a war coral that guy is probably my top five favorites I like that one a lot it's pretty interesting. I got most of these corals, probably 90% of them, from Credible Corals in New London. I live right down the road, so it's easy for me to get there and get good deals there. So then up here, this is a cup coral. As you can see along like the base of it, there's a couple of uh, new polyps down there. And those are all new growth since I've gotten it. When I got it, it at first, it was just uh, all the polyps on the top of it. And then right here, this one's pretty special. That's a Micromusa or a Blastomusa. I'm not exactly sure. Could be an Acan. Could be a Lord Hywensis. Whatever you, you guys let me know. But you see how the skeleton is like that? Uh, it's showing a little bit. I got it like that from a frag swap at a CTARS meeting, a Christmas party. And I got it for free from this really nice guy. And uh, the coral's been doing really well um, since I've had it. And I really enjoy that one. Up here, this is a green polyp leather coral. Every time I ask somebody... Like in my friend group or my family, what their favorite coral is in this tank, they always say that one. And I'm like, really? From all the corals that I have, they always pick that one. But, you know, everybody has their own favorites. So to the left, that's probably my favorite. That's my hammer coral. It has about three or four heads right now and a bunch of little buds towards the base of it. It's been doing really good in this tank. It's really fluffy. And then up here... Those are my, these ones up here are uh, my monoporas. I have a purple monopora and an orange monopora. The one behind the smaller one on the left is a red monopora. It was one of the first ones that I got. And that one just didn't do so well since I wasn't really so sure how to take care of monopora at that time. But these guys have had them for a while and they're doing really well. The purple monopora is starting to encrust onto the, the rock that I have it onto. And we're going to move left towards this green one down here. This is Duncan. I like this guy a lot. I got him with two polyps, and now he's up to about four. Maybe if I don't know. On the other side, I believe there are two more polyps. I did have him higher up in the tank, and he was closed up for a while. So I decided to move him down here, and he's doing a lot better now. So this one here is uh, another purple monopora and another orange monopora. I just got a second set of them just to be safe. And then to the left of it up here is my splatter hammer coral. This guy's been doing really well up there. He loves just swaying in the breeze. And then you're going to go down towards this guy. This is my cyphastria, meteor shower cyphastria. Uh... This guy is starting to encrust onto his base a little more, but I don't know how well he's doing at the moment. He's starting to ch color change, and I might have to move him. All right, we're going to go down towards this guy. This is my Hollywood Stunner Chalice with my uh, clownfish trying to photobomb. And then to the left... I have my tangerine juice Leptosiris, Leptosiris, I believe. Uh, 
And then we're going to go down to my other green toadstool leather. Sorry, I had a brain fart there. This guy's a little smaller. I had him, that was my first one. And when I first got him, he seemed like he was on the edge of life. He wasn't uh, doing very well, but he rebounded and he's doing a lot better. And then this one up here is my first mushroom that I've gotten. I want to start getting into more recordias and stuff because I think those are really interesting ones. And then to the left of it, I have another mushroom there. It glows really brightly under just the blue lights. I like that one a lot. And then behind that one, in the, like, hiding right there, yeah. That one has been floating around the tank for the past few months, just, like, choosing where he's going to live or not. He's, like, a little nomad. I keep looking for him sometimes. He'll be in a different spot, a different spot. You never know. But it seems like he's got a little, a good little spot there. And then now we're on to my favorite part of the tank, the Zoa Garden. So we're going to start down here. This green one that I have here was my first coral. I got that one on eBay for like 40 bucks, and I'm pretty happy that I found a retailer close to me where I could see the corals in person now because, I mean, I do like this coral a lot, but I definitely overpaid for it. And then up here, I got this disc full of coral, full of zoas. And if you guys know the name of any of these zoas, let me know. But I got this disc full of them for 10 bucks. <laughs> so you can see the difference in the price that I'm getting. And then you can't have a zoa garden without good old utter chaos zoanthids. Right down there, the orange one down there. Yeah. Those ones are probably one of my favorite zoanthids for sure. I actually had to go to the hospital because uh, I was, he fell off the frag plug and I was gluing him back on. He squirted right in my eye. But if that happens to you, I'm not telling you not to go to the hospital, but all they did for me was just rinse my eye out with water for like an hour and a half. So if you guys want to save yourself some trouble there, then guys, just take a shower with your eyes open. <laughs> so up here, this was, I bought that green coral that I said earlier and this red one at the same time. And this red one has started encrusting onto the base rock. It's been doing really well. I like this one a lot as well. And then I just got a uh, Rasta zoanthid up here. And this other yellow one that I'm not sure what it is. If you guys know what the name of this red and orange one is, let me know. But then right to the right of it, I have a Rasta zoanthid. And I actually got these corals in today, these zoanthids. I got a frag pack from Worldwide Corals. And they're all doing really well. I had to re-glue a couple of them onto their bases. Actually, just one of them. But... I got, what are they called? Well, just watch my other video and you'll find out what the names of them are. And if you do know the names of them, just put them down in the comments. And last but not least, my lime green monopora cap. This guy's so bright, he's glowing. So those are all my corals. Let me know which ones are your favorites. And uh, give me some questions and uh let me know what uh kind of videos you guys would like to be seeing next all right thanks for watching everybody